Hey you guys, Erin and Liv here and welcome back or if it's your first time then welcome to Eat Move Rest. Today we actually just got back from spending two weeks back in Nebraska with family and friends over the holidays and we definitely made sure to travel with plenty of healthy snacks not just for our sake, but especially for the kiddos' sake. So today we're gonna to be sharing with you our top 10 healthy kids' snacks for on the go that are also very adult friendly. First and foremost, whether it's a day trip to the beach or a two week long trip home to see family, we always pack protein powder or some type of smoothie with protein added in. It's perfect for sustained energy, it keeps you full and satiated, and also provides extra iron for you as well, which is super important for kiddos. So while we were away with family, we actually just packed a big Ziploc with a healthy amount of our Sun Warrior protein added in. And when we got there, we found out that my mom, which I should have known, had plenty of it on hand. So we were able to start our mornings with healthy smoothies, nice creams. We even add it to our pancakes and waffles and baked goods, which brings me to our second healthy travel snack. On any given week, I am always making and baking. So I love to have my healthy superfood brownies on hand and I always add a scoop of the chocolate warrior blend into those as well as our waffles and our pancakes. We are always sure to make extras and keep them in reusable Ziplocs to bring with us to the beach, in the car for long rides, or to grandma and grandpa's. The reason that we are huge fans of Sun Warrior is because it not only fuels our pre and post workouts, it's also super clean, super tasty, it's USDA organic, so perfect for the kiddos as well. If you guys are interested in Sun Warrior, you can always use our discount code. It is evergreen, so you can always get 20% off. Everything is linked below for you in the description. Number three will satisfy that crunch, whether you're looking for sweet or savory and salty crackers and cereals. And we also throw seaweed snacks into this category as well. Seaweed snacks are a fantastic source of plant-based iodine. As for crackers, our favorites are Mary's Gone Crackers and Brad's Kale Crackers are also super good and so clean. And for cereals, we love Nature's Path Mesa Sunrise. It is gluten-free and the kids love it. The cereal and crackers were actually a major lifesaver on this last flight. It is all the kiddos wanted. We love to use stasher bags. They are a silicone reusable Ziploc that comes in various sizes for all of these oh, snacks. Yeah, so I'll link those as well. Number four, healthy bars. Our number one favorite is Scout Organic Bars because they come in so many amazing flavors and they are so super clean. The ingredients, you guys, I am so pleased with how good these taste for how clean they are. They're organic and the kids enjoy all of them so much. And Dusty and I honestly sneak just as many of them as they do into our backpacks and bags for long flights and road trips. Another brand we're a huge fan of is Cliff Bars. They're not quite as clean of ingredients, but the nice thing about Cliff Bars is in a pinch, you can find them almost anywhere, gas stations and airports included. So this is kind of a new one that I am excited yet to try and it is tofu. So we always cook cubed tofu by baking it in the oven or frying it in the air fryer, oil free of course. We'll usually just use a little bit of coconut aminos and drizzle it on top before we cook it. It is the perfect bite sized finger food. So next time we travel, I'm for sure gonna make an extra batch of that to bring with. If you guys would like to see a video on the multiple ways that we use tofu, let us know in the comments below. We would gladly make a video like that for you. The reason we love it so much is as long as you're buying USDA organic, it is an incredible source of not only healthy fats, but tons of protein, iron, and even some calcium in there. Next up, nuts, seeds, trail mix, and granola. We usually prefer to make our own trail mixes and granolas, but my mom is notorious for always buying the best blends from Trader Joe's. That is another video we need to make for you guys is a Trader Joe's food haul. So let us know if you'd like that one as well. But trail mix is a huge winner because especially for picky eaters, it has a blend of so many different options that even if a kiddo is being picky, they can still feel like they have a choice. They can pick out the dried fruit or maybe a cashew, but not an almond. So it's nice to give them options. Bonus snack is just plain old water to go with your snacks. Get your kid a really great stainless steel water bottle that will keep your water nice and chilled. We love these hydro flask bottles from Amazon. Piggybacking off of the nuts and seeds, nuts and seed butters are also fantastic to travel with. A great option rather than bringing a big glass jar with you is to put them into one of those silicone shampoo bottles with a knife 
and then screw it on and then you can just squeeze it onto whatever fruit or veg you have with you. Hummus is another keeper that would also be in this category. It's another thing that usually you can find at any gas station or airport pre-packaged if you don't bring your own with you. So what are we putting our nut butters and hummus on or dipping them in? Be sure to bring plenty of fresh fruit and fresh veg. My go-to's for veggies are carrot and celery sticks, and sometimes I'll also slice bell peppers if I'm needing to clean out the refrigerator before we leave and I have an excess. As for fruits, I never leave the house without fresh rinsed and chopped berries, as well as quartered grapes for little ones who may not be able to eat whole grapes. I always make sure to prep and rinse everything as much as possible. Things like apples, bananas, and oranges. These are things you can find everywhere from a gas station to an airport to grandma's house. There's always a plentiful supply, especially in the winter months when some of the other fresh fruits aren't as easy to find. You can always find these fruits. So make sure to pack nature's fast fruit. So this is one of the stasher bags I was telling you guys about. This is the sandwich size, which would be great for traveling with a PB&J, which I didn't add to our list, but now that I think of it, it is something we often eat. As well as our quesadillas, which don't actually contain queso, but they're super easy and effortless. We have shared them in a YouTube video. I'll put the link below to the quesadilla video in case you guys missed it. These would be great to travel with, as well as PB&J. So along with fresh fruit, don't forget about dried fruit. Again, going back to the winter months and things that are a little bit more scarce to find, like fresh fruit, opt for dried instead. My favorite go-to that I cannot live without that the kids also enjoy is pitted dates. These are going into all of our baked goods. They're also amazingly delicious and nutritious just by themselves. They're actually surprisingly high in minerals. So my only recommendation here is to make sure you pit them before you travel, especially on an airplane where your hands can tend to be germy. Make sure they are pitted and popped into a Ziploc bag ahead of time. And if you are finding that you're getting sticky and messy, I always travel with extra water wipes, which are great to use to wipe down everything from sticky fingers to airplane trays, and of course, baby bottoms. For all of those travel snacks, this is a very compact silicone, easy to rinse in an airport sink bib that you'll want to bring with you as well. I can link these below. Second and third favorites for dried fruit other than dates would be dried black mulberries because they are ridiculously high in iron. A nutrient of focus, especially for plant-based kiddos. And number three would be dried mango, super high in vitamin C. A fourth favorite is dried goji berries. They are super high in antioxidants. Last but not least, rice or quinoa. And I know what you're thinking, these are extremely messy, especially if you are crammed on a little airplane. So instead, what we like to do is make our chickpea patties or our healthy black bean veggie burgers, anything like that that's more of a finger food consistency with things like rice and quinoa added in. You can find our chickpea patties and our veggie burgers linked in our meal planner below. All right, you guys, hopefully you enjoyed these healthy travel snacks for your kiddos and for yourself. And I hope your holidays were amazing. We're excited to gear up for this brand new year to bring you even more epic and delicious, nutritious content. Let us know in the comments what you would like to see most moving forward. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps us out. Make sure you're subscribed to the Eat, Move, Rest channel. Join the fam. Leave me some love in the comments below as well as any of your video requests. We are always looking for new ideas from you guys. And you can also look forward to the Eat, Move, Rest meal and fitness planner coming to the App Store in 2023. Happy New Year and we will see you next week. Bye guys. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.